Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome once again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today I'm going to show you some coins from Ireland uh, which were sent to me by S. Paul Howard whose eBay uh, address is Hawk731. Uh, Mr. Howard sent these coins to me as part of our order of uh, mixed world coins which we bought a number of pounds of mixed world coins from him um, when he uh, sent the coins he added some of these folders and i did not know exactly what they were when i got them so i want you to take a, a look at these and right now you'll see it's just very uninteresting it looks essentially like a manila folder but when we open it up what we see is that it is a irish coin collection from the Irish Free State and then the Republic of Ireland. And if I back up quite a bit, you can see that these are what they call Irish pennies. Uh, they go from 1928 up through when the Republic of Ireland was formed and then all the way up until 1968. These, this particular coin folder was set up by Connoisseurs, uh, a Dublin uh, coin company, and this is number three of the series. And what Mr. Howard also sent me was another folder of these coins, and this is a later version, and again, it just looks like a green manila folder, uh, but when you open it up, you see it's, again, it's the Irish coins, Irish Free State. Now, this is just a newer version of the same folder, has a little bit more information in it, and again, it goes from 1928 all the way through to 1968. But by now, the name of the company has changed uh, to Hibernia Enterprises. So what we're going to do today is to take a look at some of these uh, coins just visually this way, but I'm also going to pop out um, the 1928 version of the coins uh, so we can look at them specifically. So in order to do that, I essentially just go down, go to the back of the um, package, and I, I should be able to, if I push in on the back, I don't want to, um, I don't want to ruin it, but if I push in on the back, you see that I can actually take out the coin. And so what I'm going to do is take out the 1928 Irish Pingin, as it is called, and I'm going to set it up so we can actually take a look at it. So there it is, upside down, and here it is right side up, and I'm going to get a little bit closer, and this is the front or the obverse of the uh, coin. And what it says on the front, on the side here, is Seerstat, on this side, Erin. Essentially, this is from the Irish Free State. So again, if we look at it, we see it's a 19 on this side of the Irish harp and a 28 on the other side. We see a beaded interior edge. If we flip it up, we see that it is smooth. And on the back we see a chicken or hen and its chicks and we see the the amount one essentially one penny one pence one irish cent one d pingin and i've heard also heard uh, this pronounced peen uh it, and i i guess it may depend on what part of ireland you come from or how your parents pronounced it, but we'll, we'll call it a one pingin coin. This is from 1928. There were nine million of these made in 1928. It was the first year that they um, sent this, uh, minted this coin. Now, why did Ireland start minting coins in 1928? Well, that's a long story. In fact, it's a very long story because in December of 19. 21, Ireland achieved its independence from England and it became the Irish Free State 
in 1922. And it took them about six years to start producing their own coins, to move away from the English coins. And so this is the first version of an Irish coin from the Irish Free State. And this is the one pingin from 1928. It is a bronze coin, 95% copper, 3% tin, 1.5% zinc. It is a big coin. It is 9.45 grams, 30.74 millimeters in diameter, and 1.63 millimeters thick. Its alignment is up, so we flip it side to side to get the up. And there we are back on the uh, front. And the history of this particular coin is that uh, the Irish Free State set up a commission to decide how to design their coins. And one of the people they put on the commission was William Butler Yeats, the great Irish poet. And what he wanted was a coin that did a nod to ancient Ireland. And he also wanted a coin that was different from the British coins, and the whole commission did. And so when they came up with this side, everybody said, that's great. Um, this is shows old Ireland. It's the old Irish harp. It says uh, essentially Irish uh, free state in Irish around the outside. And then um, when people saw the back of the coin, uh, some people, especially uh, some coin enthusiasts in Britain and other places were just, in some sense, horrified and in a lot of senses amused. The idea that they would just put a hen with chicks on the back of a coin, a lot of people thought that this showed the Irish humor. One of the things I should add is that there were six northeastern counties in Ireland which did not become part of the Irish Free State um, and which did not achieve dominion status from Great Britain, and those are still there, and they're called Northern Ireland. Okay, so here's our coin. There were nine million of these made in the first year, so there was a lot of them out there, but there's not a lot of them anymore. So this coin is probably worth two to three dollars minimum uh, in very fine condition, and it is just a uh, huge kind of beautiful coin. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Uh, please subscribe and please look for more of these videos on the Irish coins because we will be taking them out of the booklet and uh, essentially showing all of them to you over time. Again, if you do see one of those folders, open it up because you don't, if you see a manila folder at the yard sale or at the coin place, open it up and take a look because if it's one of these folders, it could be very interesting and in some cases very valuable. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.